once known as Muhammadabad under the rule of Bahamani Sultanate, the Bidha city in Karnataka state of India has got its name from Bidri handicraft works in the region. various art forms created by artists from Bidar city centuries ago have now remained as major attractions in museums such as Victoria and Albert Museum London, the National Museum in New Delhi and Indian Museum in Kolkata. But the structures created by the Sultans of Bahamani Empire have made Bidar city as one of the most important historical places on the world map. Bidar Fort, one of the most formidable forts of the country, was designed and constructed by engineers and architects hired from Persia, Turkey, an Arabian country. Rangin Mahal Sola Khamba Masjid Chaubara Bahamani Tomb Barit Shai Tombs Chaukandi of Hazrat Kali Lula are the other major historical attractions in the city. After India's independence in 1947, Bida was under the rule of Nizam of Hyderabad. On September 17th of 1948, the city became a part of Karnataka state, then Mysore state. 1956, uh, reorganization of the state on the basis of languages was uh, created and Pidar was included in Karnataka because a majority of people of this area speaks Kannada language. Even though Sultans ruled the city for many centuries, Hinduism is still a majority religion in Bida with 55% of followers. And Islam is the second most popular religion with 35% of its followers. Basulur Tatu Yenide, Samanate, Navelur Wandu, Manusher Lur Wandu, Manor Lur Wandu, Namana Malibeda, Bava, Illa, Anantone, Sidanta, Patida, Tilta Badu, Yaudi, Jati, Mata, Panta, Beda, Ilene, Elama Kurgali to Kundu, Isitana Vana Kurtai Devi, Iritiagi, Nama Balki Matadeli, Samajika, Dharmika, Samskritika, Sectionika. Christianity, Jainism, Buddhism and Sikhism fill the rest. Bidar is also considered as one of the holiest places for Sikh pilgrimage in South India. Papanashini Mandir, Mailara Mallanna Mandir, Narsimha Jharana Mandir, Changleri Virabhadra Mandir are also the other religious holy places in the city. With around 2.5 lakh population, Bidar city is the headquarters of Bidar district. Comprising of talukas of Aurad, Basavakalyan and Bhalki. The people of the city can speak Kannada, Marathi, Urdu and Telugu languages. 
taking the advantages of having common boundaries with Maharashtra and Telangana states. Rice is the main core ingredient of dishes here. Fancy restaurants to street food outlets offer delicious food. Manjra and Karanja rivers quench the thirst of the people in the city. For these many years, this region has felt a stepmotherly treatment from the government of Karnataka in providing infrastructure and access to opportunities. It is so painful to understand the negligence of the authority in preserving many sites of architectural and historical buildings around the city. Being the home of Mahmud Gawan Madrasa, an ancient university which had 36 classrooms, an impressive library and boarding facility for hundreds of students around the world, later lost its educational glory by the wild negligence of the authorities. School buildings student enrollment and results have always been bottom on the list. Now, the glory of 16th century Gawan Madrasa, which was built in accordance with world-class universities like Samarkand and Khorasan at that time, is returning back to Bidra. Sanna'i Jilleli Yeruvashtu shalegalu bhousha yav jilli ili kuda irli kele ashtu hechchu shalegalu illi adav. A anu shengadali nao kuda ee bhagakke hathambat nora yappad tente ishwe ili bandhu. Nao paprathamagi prathimika madhimika shikhyana vanna sadgur shiddhavda swamigada janma bhoomi ili prarambishi. E bhagada samastha Janara Makkal Abhivurdhi Goskaravagi KG in the nursery in the primary head of the Kondo Ayurveda Medical College of the Varage now will Shikhanavana Iga Makkal Ekodatai De. Medical College, Engineering College, Veterinary University, Horticulture College, and other higher educational institutions provide proof to the 85% literacy rate recorded in the city. The modern day Muhammad Gawan of the Bidar city have already brought smiles on many faces. Improving results, stunning performances in academics by the students of Bidar schools have made modern day gawan effort fruitful bidar hukumat e hind ki janib se educationally backward minority concentrated district declared hai aur yahan ka maiyar e taleem karnataka mein khaas taur par sabse niche raha hai aise halat mein 1989 first december ko ek classroom mein sirf 17 bachon ke sath ye chand agraz o maqasid tay karke अपने तालीमी सफर का आगाज किए थे वो ये कि मुसलमानों में तालीमी शौर बेदार करना और तुलबा को पाक और साफ माहौल फराहम करना ताकि वो इंसानियत के अच्छे खादिम और मुल्क के अच्छे शहरी बने इसी तरह इब्तदाही से तुलबा को ऐसा मियार देना ताकि वो मुस्तबिल में कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्ज़ाम्स के लिए तैयार हों तलबा में अपने मजहब का ऐसा सही जज्बा और क़ुत अमल पैदा करना جس سے پر امن بخائے باہم کا احساس فروغ پائے پھر طلبہ میں حالات حاضرہ کا مخابلہ کرنے اور دور جدید کے چالنج کو خبول کرنے کی صلاحیت پیدا ہو سترہ طلبہ سے شروع ہونے والا یہ ادارہ اب الحمدللہ بیس ہزار سے زائد اسٹرنٹس کی خدمت کر رہا ہے 
और 42 ब्रांचेस हमारे सात रियासतों में काम कर रहे हैं एक बड़ी तदाद गवर्नमेंट मेडिकल कॉलेजेस में हमारे स्टूडेंट्स की एडमिशन लेने में कामयाब हो रही है मुल्क के एक परसेंट गवर्नमेंट फ्री मेडिकल सीट शाहन के तलबा को इस साल हम हासिल किए हैं और इसी तरह टेन परसेंट गवर्नमेंट फ्री मेडिकल सीट कर्नाटका इस्टेट के सिर्फ शाहन बीदर के तलबा को मिल रहे हैं यहाँ पर गरीब अमीर हिंदू मुस्लिम सब एक साथ रहते हैं और ये यकीन हमारे अगराज व मकासद को पूरा करने वाला एक अमल है यहाँ भेदभाव को ख़त्म करते हुए भाईचारगी का माहौल को फ़रो देने में शाहन अलहमदिल्ला बहुत हद तक कामयाब हुआ है तलबा को पाक व साफ माहौल देना के हवाले से शाहन को एजुकेशन फ्री है शाहन ट्यूशन फ्री है और शाहन ऑटोमोबाइल फ्री और मोबाइल फ़ोन फ्री है और हम तलबा को डिस्ट्रैक्शन फ्री माहौल देने में कामयाब हो रहे हैं शाहन एक कल्चर का डिसिप्लिन का नाम है और इस कल्चर और डिसिप्लिन को हम मुल्क भर में फैलाने के ख्वाहिशमंद हैं फर्स्ट कॉलेज स्टार्टेड इन बीदर इज बूम बी वूमेडी कॉलेज इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी टिल देन देर वॉज नो कॉलेज बट ओनली हाई स्कूल्स आर देर इन रन बाई प्राइवेट मैनेजमेंट एंड देर वॉज ओनली वन कॉलेज डिग्री कॉलेज इन द एंटायर हैदराबाद कर्नाटक एरिया दैट इज एट गुलबरगा दैट टाइम एच एस एल सी इज नोन एज एच एस सी एंड द स्टूडेंट्स देर इज ओनली वन गवर्नमेंट हाई स्कूल हियर ऑफकोर्स कनाडा मराठी एज वेल एज उर्दू ऑल द थ्री मीडियम्स आर टॉट दे and students has to go to the uh, hyderabad for uh, giving examinations ss hsc examinations that was the situation here and at that time this our society has come into uh, and name of the society of course there for for the thought of it karnataka rashtriya education society concept of karnataka was also not there at present more than 5000 students are running it has got kannada high school public school in the english medium आर्ट साइंस कॉमर्स कॉलेज बेसल इन कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशन एंड सेवन डिपार्टमेंट्स पी जी डिपार्टमेंट कनाडा कनाडा हेज गॉट ए रिसर्च डिपार्टमेंट इट हेज गॉट रिसर्च सेंटर आल्सो पी एच डी इट हेज प्रोड्यूस मोर देन सेवन एट पी एच डी टू स्टूडेंट्स एंड मोर देन फोर्टी एम फिल स्टूडेंट्स फ्राम दिस कॉलेज सरदार जोगा सिंह जी माई फादर इन लॉ ही वॉज अ फिलेंथ्रोफिस्ट एंड ही हैड अ विजन टू डू समथिंग फॉर द पीपल ऑफ बेदर So in 1969 he started Gurunanak Hospital it's a 100 bedded hospital and later he had you know uh, a dream to start a uh, standard uh, educational institution so he started off with Gurunanak public school in 1975 and that was the first english medium school in bidar and later in 1980 he started gunanak dev engineering college and i think that was the starting point of development of bidar so uh, our intention is to uh, you know uplift the people of bidar and we have been serving the people of bidar from last 50 years today bidar is considered as one of the fastest developing cities in north karnataka The city has a large industrial area with increasing number of industrial units being set up here with huge investments. Bidar is home to an air force station and it is the second biggest Indian air force training center in the country. This military base also serves as a domestic airport. The city is also well connected by road and railway network. There are frequent trains and bus connections to Hyderabad, Bengaluru, Mumbai and other metropolitan cities. Bidar coldest and wettest city of north karnataka welcomes you <laughs>